I'm excited. We're finally going to be warm. New air. Electric heater. A big one. 220 too at that. It's a simple setup. We're going to give it a shot. All I did is I put some 220 uh, 10-2 with a ground. So it's just two hot wires. I just made a little switch. I'm going to put a 220 switch here. And I made a little junction box right up here. So I'm going to go through that junction box. Come out with a wire and put the heater right there. Okay, I decided to put it in a different spot. I didn't put it right here because the wire was too short. I got 25 foot, but I'm putting a switch, so I have to go up and down the, bar, the um, conduit. I mounted it right here, the new air. Right here. And what I did, I didn't set it up yet completely, but I put a box there, run it through the, to the attic through a 2x4, come down through here, and I put a 220 switch right here. Now 220 is a little bit thicker wire, so it's a little bit, you gotta use 10 gauge, so it's a little bit harder to work with, but not too bad. So I put an industrial 30 amp switch. I'd get a 30 amp, I'd recommend. And um, let's hook it up and see how it works. Well, I highly recommend an electrician do this, but this is what you need for a uh, double pole 30. And you just put the white and the black on. Very, very simple. Sorry about the lighting, I had to kill the main breaker. Um, and then you just ground it to a ground, your ground bar. There's no neutral on this, it's just hot. Two hots and a ground, it's very, very simple. So, just put this back in here like this. See, I, I like to have a neat wiring there, you know? That's where I draw the line with neatness. <laughs> and then I took it up here and I just put two 220 heater and I just stapled it down. And you put a little thing there. So, make sure you kill your main breaker if you're gonna do this. And if you don't know what you're doing, call electrician. If you Google it and ask people, maybe you can do it yourself. I don't know. But it's not that hard. Okay, I just flicked it on and the new air is blowing. It blows pretty good too. Oh yeah. You can make some fine adjustments here. Oh, she spins. I gotta tighten that bolt up. And I gotta put the cover back on here. So, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, I can feel it now. Now I have to get, don't do this. This is not how you do it. I have to get a bigger box. This is just for now, nothing's touching. I put electrical tape around it, but I gotta get a bigger box and put that in. That's just for now, for tonight. But I got it up there really, really nice. Yeah, I can feel it blowing really good now. That powder coat almost matches the wall, see? That throws some heat off, big time. Let's see if the switch works. Yep. And there's a thermostat in the back of that you can turn, so you can set it to where you want to set it and you can switch it on or off. I always have a safety switch, I call it, on, off when I leave, on. I mean, you could probably leave that all the time and just have the thermostat, you know, go. But me, I like the fact that I can shut it off without going into the breaker box. It would have probably been easier just to hit the breaker box because the box is right there, but I wanted a switch. I just, I think switches wear out less. They're designed to turn off, on and off all the time. Breakers are not. Oh wow, that thing is cranking. All right, let's see, what's what's the temperature in here now? Okay, the temperature right now is 57.9. 58.1, it's heating up that quick, guys. So 58.1, let me get in the light. 58.1 on that heater right now, and I'm, I'm a little cold, I just can't put my jacket on, I'm full of dust. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back in about 30 minutes and check it out, so. Now this is the, this is the new air garage heater. This thing's pretty nice. It's pretty fancy too with the powder coat and everything on it. I'm actually pretty impressed. That, I mean, it's a little tricky to deal with the 220 wire because it's 10 gauge, a little thick, but I don't think an electrician would charge you that much to hook that up, to be honest with you, in your garage or shop. I want three sources of heating. I want three sources of heating here, and then when we build a house later, I want three, three sources there. So I want three sources of heating in each. One where there's no electricity, which would be a self-feeding pellet stove and one is a more energy efficient mini split. This right now, excellent for right now. 61.2. So it's jumped, really jumped. And it's not and it's not even where, this is cold, this is against a cold block wall. The heater's way over here, blowing that way. So it's not, it's not next to the heater, so it's pretty good. Now over here might be a little bit colder, but it is what it is. It's gonna have to, like garage door's cracked here, I gotta fix it, but I mean, I gotta shut it but we're doing something right now. But I wanna test this out for tonight, we'll run this. Probably gonna keep this just running when it gets real cold. We'll run it a few hours before I go to bed so it doesn't freeze in here, and that's it. There's a thermostat in the back so it will kick on and off when needed. And it's like, 
pretty heavy duty like wiring and thermostats. I, it's not digital, it's manual, which I like because they don't break. And then when you get a surge going in your building or, or home or shop, that won't surge because it's the old school turn, the, you know, the nice dial. I like the dial because anything electronic gets fried. You know how the uh, power spikes go with lightning. If you guys want this heater, I'm going to put the code, it's a promo code, uh, wait, promo, discount code. I'm going to put the discount code below. As you know, it's Depre. Everything is Depre. So whatever I post, I always tell them Depre. So you get 20% off this heater. I think the heater goes for 239 or 249 I forget, but it's 20% off that too. So something for like 220 bucks, you know. Or 230 bucks or whatever it is with the 20% off. I don't know. I have to do math. But to be able to heat this right now, I know it takes 5,000 watts and I know it's 220. It does take some power. But that little couple dollars a month in power is not going to make a big deal right now. I'm not going to keep it 80 in here, you know. This is like good for like a seven, 800 square foot building or shop or garage. If your garage is insulated like this, I'll probably keep this really warm in here. I didn't insulate up there yet. I'm working on that. But between the thermal windows, the thermal, the insulated garage doors, the block, once you get that block warm, it stays warm. Once you get it cold, it stays cold. Just one more thing, it's about 67 degrees in here. I'm starting to sweat with a jacket on because I'm running around here. I have an amp meter and I check the amps and this thing pulls about 21 amps. That's about what 5,000 watts is, 21, 22 amps, give or take. So that's, that's a little bit of amperage, but not really. Um, power is pretty reasonable here. So for right now, this is like perfect for us. And power is like, I don't know, it's like 8.7 cents a kilowatt or 9 cents. It's like wicked cheap here. Most places are like 13 cents a kilowatt, 14. So it's good. It's all good. We'll have a good one and see you tomorrow. Lakers and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.